This is Jozef Nagy here and welcome to the second video in the CFD summer series in uh, 2020 where I'm talking about CFD and open form related topics and today's topic is the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL or VSL however you want to call it which is Linux in within Windows so first I came in contact with WSL or VSL in I think 2017 I remember browsing news uh, on my phone and I found an article about this new feature in Windows 10 where you can install back then it was only Ubuntu nowadays you can install a lot of um, Linux versions so that you can install Ubuntu and then I tried it and the installation was a bit more complex than nowadays but still very straightforward and what I got is was a more or less server edition of Ubuntu back then then I installed the uh, back then the recent version of OpenFoam, and then what I seen that is that the runtime was not a lot slower than in native Ubuntu, and that was something a game changer for me because I've tried Windows versions of OpenFoam, but all of them were at least two times slower than the native versions, and a little bit slower. I mean, just five or ten percent slower. So and then I tried to, to try to adapt it in my everyday work of life and uh, I remember I talked about it in a splash talk at the the Open Foam workshop in Exeter and so I talked about a VSL there for 5 minutes and I saw people a little bit smiling and thinking to themselves oh yes yes Linux in Windows yes uh, I don't think so, but, but since then I've seen it evolve and also seen it at universities, companies and also private pe persons using it, especially for open phone. So nowadays there is all, even a possibility to install a GUI, which is called XFCE4, which is a Xubuntu um, um, GUI. Uh, in Ubuntu and you can install it also in VSL nowadays you have VSL 2 the second version so you have a lot of possibilities of course you have the other alternatives to run Linux on your or Linux and Windows side by side for example in a virtual box but then it's a question do you want to install Linux natively and run Windows in a virtual box or install windows uh, natively and then run linux in a virtual box or do you pre or do you use a dual boot uh, but there the, i had personally the problem that some windows programs rewrite the boot sector and they are installed and screw up your ubuntu installation or do you use i wrote here a dual pc so you have one linux laptop and one windows laptop and then you just use the two of them or do you or, or do you use maybe MinGV or other Linux compilations in Windows tell me please about your experience is it good is it bad which alternative do you prefer or maybe, maybe even you know of a cool feature of, v, of WSL or WSL2 that I don't know about maybe regarding GUI or features or maybe the Paraview the recent Linux Paraview versions in WSL don't really seem to work nicely did you find a way to solve it so please Please tell me your experience or what you found out regarding a WSL in the comment section below this video. So that was the video. This is what I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope that you like this discussion and that you will comment something. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening. And I hope to see you next time.